What is going on YouTube? This is your boy PXG Cash Hour coming at you a week three of the Worldwide Champions League Season 3. This battle taking place between Lindemar of the Seattle Sharanga Superiors taking on Johnny Legends, coach of the Carolina Caracostas. Now anyone who has watched our week two recap video know that the Seattle Sharanga Superiors did make drops during week three. However, it happened a little after the start of week three. So both um, Kieran Black and Malamar, who Lindo did drop, um, Goff and Garbador for, are not eligible for this battle versus the uh, Caracostas. So Lindo will still be rocking this same squad you see here. And John has made no changes as of yet to his team. So he's still rocking with the default draft team. After a careful planning consideration, what they came up with is Lando, Therian, Tornadus Incarnate, Embor, Gudra, Gatatel, and Blastoise for the um, Seattle Sharing of Superiors, uh, Frostlass, Darmanitan, Needle Queen, uh, Superior, Salamence, and Cabalion for the um, Carolina Caracostas. One of these coaches will get their first loss of the league, while the other will continue on their streak. Let's see which of the two it will be. Seattle sharing on Superiors taking on the Carolina Caracostas. Alright, Johnny issuing the challenge. Leads off with Lance the Cabalion. Then the will lead off with Kaido the um, Lanotherian. She leads off with the Intimidate, dropping um, Cobalion's attack stat. Uh, Cobalion will throw out the Stealth Rocks, as does uh, Lando. Rocks are on the field on both sides, potentially breaking any sashes both of these uh, two coaches have on their pokes, unless they find a way to remove them. So Cobalion going for the Iron Head. Lando retaliate with Rock Tomb, which will lower Cobalion's speed. Lando at this point I believe will be faster than Cobalion, and he is. Does go for the U-turn. Lando will go back. In his place is Wet, who I'm assuming is the Blastoise. And it is. He does take damage from the rocks. Cobalion going for the Iron Head. It won't be doing much considering Blastoise water type resists the steel attack. So by rules. Blastoise will be Mega Evolving to Mega Blastoise. And. Goes straight for the Scald. Does not get the burn. Does not kill. Cabalion retaliates with Volt Switch. It is super effective. Does not kill. Cabalion will be returning back to John. Who calls out Charmer, which is superior in his place. The rocks do damage their peer. Then they will be recalling Blastoise. In his place is Liam Barney, the Gudra. Is he gonna go straight for the Leaf Storm? Rocks do hurt Gudra. Goes for the Glare. Will be paralyzing um, Gudra. Superior going straight for the Dragon Pulse. I'm wondering if this. He doesn't have Leaf Storm after what happened last week where he didn't land any of them. Gudra is Life Orb. Uh, Gudra. Uh, Superior is Life Orb. Gudra goes for Flamethrower, does moderate damage to Superior. Whom John withdraws and brings out Salamence, or as he called it, Liamence. Hmm. Not sure if it's named after Liam because it is a female Salamence. Gudra goes for the Ice Beam. And it is enough. Liamence, the Salamence, does go down. Lindo is up on the board, 6-5. Out comes out Mistress, the Frostlass. Does take damage from the rocks. Goes straight for the Ice Beam. Gudra still alive, was able to tank the hit. Frostlass does lose his HP because of life orb. Liam showing the paralysis. Understands my pain from last week, but ooh, Gudra living at one HP. 
Gujo will retaliate with Flamethrower. Which is enough. Frostlass goes down. Mistress to Frostlass goes down. We're at a 6v4. Uh, Combatant takes damage from the rocks. Lindo does recall Gudra. If he does not find a way to remove those rocks, uh, Gudra will die as soon as it comes right back out. Goes into Lando Therian. Fails to intimidate again, dropping uh, Cabalion's attack stat. Cabalion goes for the Iron Head. And again, Lando goes for the Earthquake. Cabalion is eating a berry. Does live thanks to the Shuka Berry. Lindo does withdraw uh, Lando. Goes into Liam Barney the Gudra, essentially killing off Liam Barney. Both of these Liam Pokes are, have seen better days. Gudra does go down. We're now at a 5v4. Goes, in, goes into Mega Blastoise. Does uh, take damage from the rocks. Goes for the Iron Head. Does not do anything as I said before to uh, Blastoise. Wet goes for the Rapid Spin. It was a crit, a crit Rapid Spin. Is able to finally remove the rocks from uh, side of the field. Um, Combat and goes for the Volt Switch. Is almost able to kill uh, Blastoise. Does withdraw and goes back into Superior. Who takes damage from the rocks? Lindo again goes for the rapid spin. Probably predicting Kabam to drop the rocks again. Superior goes for the Dragon Pulse, which is enough. Blastoise goes down. We're tied 4 4 on both sides. But Superior dies because of its life orb. Recoil. 4 3. Out comes out Big Boobs, the Needle Queen. Back again is Kaido, the Lanotherian. We know rocks are still up on John's side of the field. I don't. Does not have a way to remove them, unfortunately. Lando goes for the Earthquake. The Needle Queen is bulky, but not bulky enough. Needle Queen goes down. 4 2. Out comes out Shofu, the Darmanitan. Does take damage from the rocks. Lindo does withdraw uh, Lando Therian. Goes into Janemba. The Embor. This thing was just called Majin Buu the other day. Shofu going for the Flare Blitz. Gets Embor down to about half health. Is Does take damage from his recoil. Janemba goes for the Sucker Punch. Is it enough to actually kill? And it is. Shofu goes down. This is starting to look like a 4-1. I just realized that Shofu was also female. Out comes out uh, Kabalion. Does save damage from the rocks, but wasn't enough to uh, actually die from them. Ambor going for the Sucker Punch. Not very gentleman-like from it. Kabalion does go down. It is a 4-0 victory for Lindo and the Seattle Sharingan Superiors. And there goes the battle! GG's 2 Lindo will be continuing on his winning streak at a 3-0. John now on the board with his first loss, 2-1. Still the beginning of the league, so it's still anyone's uh, game as per se. GG's to both coaches. As per usual, like and subscribe to catch more battles from the Worldwide Champions League. As always, this is your coach. And uh, host, PXG Cash Hour, coach of the New York Needle King, signing off.